Hi traders, let's take a look at my live trading session today starting with the S&P 500 because the S&P is up 1.2%, it's a huge gap up. Now normally you would expect a gap and go, meaning a continuation over the highs which happens right now, but not before you see a pullback. So I was waiting for a pullback which just did not come. Now the pullback should push the S&P lower, some profit taking, whatever it is, but normally the pullback does come not today, which means this is extremely dangerous, meaning the market is moving up, it's too extended to the upside, and I have to calculate very carefully what I'm going to do next. So I find a nice opportunity here in BABA, and I'm going to go long BABA because it has a nice reversal, and because this stock is up 3%, and I'm going long 2,000 shares, which is right now half of my normal size. The reason I go in with half size is because I did not get the pullback. Now Baidu does the same. It's up 3% and it's reversing nicely. And again, I'm going to buy half size in Baidu, 2,000 shares, just because the market just continues to move higher without a pullback, buying now. So both Baidu and Baba are looking great and the S&P keeps moving higher. And again, the reason I'm taking half size is mainly because the S&P did not pull back down. So the market is too extended to the upside. I'm afraid that the pullback will come any minute now. It did not, it just kept going. So in days like this, you just don't know what's coming next, but you, you must be extremely cautious. Now let's take a look at uh, a fast forward of what happened to Baidu. As you can see, it just moved over the highs, I'm up just over $1,000 here and I'm looking for uh, the first in fact market pullback which uh, is about to come but as you can see Baidu just pulled back down a little bit and again it's a fast forward moving to a new high I'm up $1,800, $2,000 just reached my one point target selling leaving just 200 shares same happened with Baba I also had a one point target so you can see that I'm just going over Right now, over $1,000, it's reaching a new high, and I'm about to take my partial once it reaches the one-point mark. So again, a fast forward in BABA. There is another reason why I went long BABA and Baidu, and I'm going to tell it to you right now after I take my partial here, and you can see now I'm up, uh, getting close to the $2,000 mark, touching it right now and about to take my partial and leaving 200 shares for the continued move. So both did well. And I moved in with half size because the market, in my opinion, was too extended to the upside. It just did not behave the way I wanted. But anyway, the result is great. I'm up just over $3,000 and still riding uh, 200 shares with both. But again, I, I, I owe you some more explanation here about why did I go long Baidu and Baba. And the reason is... JD. Now take a look at what happened to the S&P starting with the S&P. The S&P started with a huge gap up today and just continued to move higher. So there was no pullback, almost no pullback in the S&P. And when the S&P behaves this way, it's extremely dangerous. You expect a pullback which just did not come. So when the S&P behaves this way and the market is too extended to the upside and you expect a pullback, you just don't go in full size. Of course, I wish I would have right now, but it would have been just way too dangerous. So the S&P did not move down in order to close the gap, not even trying to move down. And that's why I needed another reason to go long uh, Baidu and Baba. And the reason is JD. Take a look at JD. JD moved up at 9.40. Eastern time. So if you take a look at the point where JD just moved over the highs and moved uh, with a nice breakout over the highs, you can see that 940 was the time it moved up over the highs. Now, if w once JD moved over the highs, it's a Chinese stock, it's also very strong today, it's likely that Baidu and Baba will follow. You always take a look at stocks as is in a group. So Chinese stocks are normally in the same group. Not always, but normally they will move together. So JD moved over the highs at 940. And at the same time, if you take a look at, uh, let's start with uh, Baidu here, you can see that at 940, it was reversing. So it did not move over the highs. So it was expected for it to move over the highs, especially because the market is strong. JD just moved over the highs. It gives you some kind of a pre-warning to what is about to happen to Baidu. So again, 940 in Baidu, it's just a reversal. That's why I bought it, the reversal. Now take a look at Baba, the same idea. 940 is just a reversal. You would expect it to move over the highs. JD gave me the clue. The S&P helped me. But again, I was extremely cautious 
Why? Because the S&P was too extended to the upside. So you just don't take the risk. But anyway, JD was the missing ingredient that I wanted to uh, tell you about. And uh, that's what really helped me to make a decision to go long Baidu and Baba. Although I was really kind of unhappy with the fact that the market just kept on moving higher. Again, no pullback, no technical reversal in the market. That makes my trading much more dangerous. So half size. But anyway, I'm happy. I did the right thing. Yes, maybe I would hope now that I had more. But the most important thing, the most important thing is how my trading room members were doing with us today. Because you know, all of my trades are posted live in my trading room and you are very welcome to join for a free 14 day trial, which you will find right here below this video. And it also, if you just like to join my YouTube channel, it's also broadcasted live each and every day. So anyway, take a look at the results here. You can see that, uh, 76, 77, 78 percent of my traders are in green today. Of course, uh, sorry, we did not have 100 percent, but you know what? Trading is extremely hard. It's very hard. And I'm so happy that I can help our community to succeed. So getting just below 80 percent success rate is absolutely amazing. And that makes my weekend. So I'm going to have a long, happy weekend right now. And if you were happy with this video, I really appreciate if you give me a like. It helps my channel and more people like you enjoy day trading videos and learn a little bit more about day trading. And if you do want to subscribe, please do. There's a button right here and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And I know you like this video because otherwise you wouldn't have stayed until now. But if you do hit that subscribe button, it will help my channel. And for some reason, most people who are viewing these videos do not. So I would like to see you as one of my subscribers. Thank you very much for joining in today. Lots of links right here below this video. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video.